Welcome back. We are in week three of Life of Love is a Battlefield, and uh, this week is Fighting for Your Kids. Lee is behind the camera again. Lee, how are you doing today? I'm good, Brooks. How are you? I am quite well. Thank you. That was so weird. I'm good, Brooks. How are you? But it's all good. Lee, you have no kids, though, do you? I don't have no kids. Very fortunate. You do have no kids. No kids. I don't have no kids. No, you don't have any kids. You do. Okay, so there we go. I don't know if he's going to edit this, or you guys will simply have a blast with it. This is going to be great one way or the other. The point is is although we're focusing on fighting for your kids and relationships with your kids, these things really apply to just about any relationship. Most of you have already watched the sermon, you went to church, or you saw it online. So this is kind of a review. And the first thing was, you got to find forgiveness for yourself. Now, I I got to stress on this for a moment. You, everybody needs to be forgiven. We have a great ministry here called Celebrate Recovery, which helps people with their hurts and hangups and habits. It's amazing. And one of their sayings is that hurt people hurt people, which is so true. You realize that people are hurt, so when they're hurting you, you don't get so upset because they're hurting. But I love the fact that forgiven people can forgive people. So if you have never received the forgiveness that God offers you, look in Acts chapter 13, verses 38 and 39, the Word of God is real clear. It says that through Jesus we receive the forgiveness of sins for which we couldn't receive from any other way. And so if you place your faith in Jesus alone, He forgives you. You are His. It's taken care of, and that's so very important to know. In Romans 4, 5, it says, but to him that works not, but believes on him that justifies the ungodly, his faith Faith is counted for righteousness. Guys, that's the foundation. Place your faith in Jesus if you've never trusted Jesus as your Savior so that you can know that you are forgiven. Because guess what? Your kids and other people, they're going to mess you up. And you're going to need to know how to forgive other people. And you can't do that unless you've received the forgiveness of God first yourself. Once you've received that forgiveness, you really then need to work on your fellowship with God. How are you doing? How are you focusing on the relationship that you have with God that you want to get better and better all the time. How does a relationship with anybody get better? You spend time talking to them. You spend time listening to them. With God, we need to serve Him. We need to tell others about Him. You need to make sure that your relationship with God is good, because when you have received His forgiveness and you're in fellowship with the Lord, then you can do the other things like follow God's parental lead. You know, God leads us in in these three ways that you saw in the sermon. He leads us with affection, with direction, with correction. In Jeremiah 31, 3, the Lord says that he has loved us with an everlasting love. He has always loved us. He's not afraid to show his love. We need to be that way with our kids. We need to be that way with other people that we know. We need to demonstrate love to them all the time. God also gives us direction in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. It tells us, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your paths. God wants to point you in the right direction. We want to point our kids in the right direction. We want to point our nephews, our nieces, people that we love in the right direction. We want to help people with that. And then correction. Sometimes it's not our responsibility to do correction with our kids. It is. And God does that. In Hebrews chapter 12, it tells us that he corrects those that he loves. Isn't that weird? Because he loves us, he disciplines us. Because he loves us, he corrects us. And we got to do that with our kids. And sometimes we have to do that with our good friends. And we need to help them out with that as well. And then the last thing I just want to remind you of is it's very important to find ways to show God's love to your kids and to other people. So my question to you today would be, what are you going to do this week to show love to your kids? If you don't have kids, you don't have children, what are you going to do this week to show love to people that you have a relationship with that you know need the love of God? Work on that this week. We're praying for you. Love Jesus. Be nice to people. I'm out.